Most of Star Wars The Clone Wars' most impressive battles came during the show's later seasons, but early on, it had some particularly good ones. One of the first season's best was the Sky Battle of Quell, a battle glimpsed at the start of the episode Jedi Crash. This was a naval battle, but it was fought within a planet's upper atmosphere, giving it a distinctive aesthetic. There are few things cooler than watching vast spaceships battle in a planet's atmosphere, their undersides burning up due to the heat of re-entry, their starfighters leaving contrails in their wake. Apart from being cool, Quell was also a major Republic defeat, one that nearly caused the death of Anakin Skywalker, and in this video, we'll be doing a full analysis of it. Attention, Sergeant on deck! Precious little is known about Quell. The only depiction of its surface actually comes from LEGO Star Wars 3, which is non-canon but depicts Quell as a barren planet of bluish-grey rock formations, as its appearance from orbit would suggest. Canon sources state that Quell was an unremarkable terrestrial world with nothing on its surface that would attract outside interest. It was only ever important because of its location. Quell was in the Nuiri sector on the edge of Separatist space, located along the Salin Corridor, one of the Outer Rim's most important hyperspace routes. Running from remote Salin, out in the New Territories, to the periphery of Hut space, intersecting the Hidian Way and Polymian trade route as it went, the Salin Corridor was ancient, and for thousands of years, it was one of the only routes into the Northern Outer Rim. Even after that region was more thoroughly explored, it remained important. The stretch between the Polymian and Hidian wound between Mandalorian space and the Radama Void, the boundary region of Sith space, and it represented a narrow corridor of Republic civilization in the desolate and lawless Transidian region. During the Clone Wars, this leg of the route became particularly important because both the Outer Polymian and the Outer Hidian were under Separatist control, and the Republic's tenuous grip on the route was all that prevented Separatist forces from the two theaters from linking up. The Salin Corridor also provided the Republic with invasion vectors for both pockets of Separatist territory. This was also important since both the Outer Hidian and Outer Polymian were vital Separatist strongholds. The Hidian Way Enclave, known as the Sereno Theater, contained many of the Confederacy's wealthiest and most politically influential worlds, while the Polymian Route Enclave, known as the Felucia Theater, contained the foundry of the Confederacy, a string of vital industrial worlds that fueled the Separatist war effort. The Republic launched many incursions into Separatist space on either side of the Transhidian, and during one such campaign on the Polymian side of the route, Republic and Separatist forces clashed over otherwise insignificant Quell. The Republic fleet at Quell was commanded by Jedi General Aayla Sakura and her clone liaison, Marshal Commander Bly of the 327th Star Corps. Sakura's fleet consisted of at least three Venator-class Star Destroyers, led by the flagship Liberty, supported by V-19 Torrent Squadrons, LAAT gunships, and Delta-7B Starfighters. But at Quell, Sakura and her fleet ran into a much larger force, commanded by tactical droid TF-1726. This droid had a fleet of at least seven Munificent-class Star Frigates with Vulture Droid Escort, as well as B-1 Battle Droid and Jetpack-equipped B-2 RP Super Battle Droids to act as boarding troops. The Republic was gravely outmatched, and it didn't take long after the start of the battle for things to start looking grim. The Republic's Starfighter Squadrons were quickly overwhelmed, and TF-1726 ordered his ships to carry out a merciless turbolaser barrage against the Republic fleet. Sakura's ships were all badly damaged and forced to flee into Quell's upper atmosphere, where TF-1726 pursued them, keeping up the assault. As the battle continued and the Star Destroyers began to suffer increasing amounts of damage, which was intensified by strain caused by Quell's gravity, they began to struggle to stay aloft. Sakura was ultimately forced to call for help before she and her men were all killed. Help soon arrived under the command of Anakin Skywalker and Admiral Yularen. 
Skywalker and Yularen were unable to muster a large enough fleet to salvage the battle, but they hoped to be able to rescue Sakura and her men from their doomed ships. To that end, they brought along their flagship, the Venator-class Star Destroyer Resolute, and the Consular-class Corvette, with the plan being that the Resolute would fend off Separatist forces, while the Corvette and a fleet of Republic gunships evacuated the Liberty, Sakura's flagship. By the time Skywalker's forces arrived, it was already too late for the other Star Destroyers, which were rapidly plummeting into Quell's atmosphere and beginning to break apart. The Liberty was soon to follow. Skywalker, his apprentice Ahsoka Tano, and Captain Rex led the gunship fleet in boarding the Liberty, while the Corvette docked in the Star Destroyer's ventral hangar. Not long after the Republic reinforcements arrived, however, TF-1726 deployed a swarm of B-2RP rocket droids to board the Liberty and exterminate its crew. The rocket droids also attacked Skywalker's gunships, forcing several of them down, including the lead ship, which crashed into the Liberty. Skywalker and company survived, however, and they joined Commander Bly and the 327th in fighting off the Liberty's borders while the ship's crew evacuated. Through unknown means, the B-2 RPs received reinforcements in the form of B-1 battle droids, possibly delivered via standard boarding craft. Meanwhile, TF-1726 was growing impatient. Calculating that he should have won the battle four minutes ago, he switched to more aggressive tactics, ordering a renewed turbolaser barrage on the Liberty, which he wanted destroyed immediately. When one of his crew pointed out that the boarding party was still aboard, TF-1726 gave us one of the best droid moments of Star Wars The Clone Wars. This is taking too long. Destroy that cruiser. But sir, there are still hundreds of droids on board. I don't care. With that, the Separatist cruisers concentrated fire on the Liberty, and the Star Destroyer began to fall apart. As the Liberty fell apart around them, Sakura, Skywalker, and what was left of Republic forces aboard the ship broke off from their battle with the rocket droids and made for the corvette docked in the hangar. They weren't able to reach the ship before the Liberty began suffering catastrophic explosions, which ripped through the Star Destroyer's corridors. Using the force, Skywalker was able to hold back the explosion long enough for the others to make it aboard the corvette, but he was seriously injured when the blast was released. Tano managed to rescue him and drag him aboard the corvette, which detached just in time, but Skywalker nonetheless needed urgent medical attention. The Liberty plummeted into Quell's lower atmosphere soon after, breaking up as it went, leaving the Resolute as the only Star Destroyer left on board. Ultimately, only Bly, Sakura, and a handful of clones had made it onto the corvette with Skywalker, Rex, and Tano, and most of the Liberty's crew was presumably killed. With the Separatist fleet now bearing down on the Resolute and Skywalker in critical condition, the survivors needed to dock with the Resolute and get away from Quell as soon as possible. But as the Corvette was approaching the Resolute, it was strafed by Vulture Droids, which caused the ship's hyperdrive to activate. The Corvette was forced to pull away from the Resolute as it shot off into hyperspace on an unknown course. On the bridge of the Resolute, Yularen ordered his crew to determine the corvette's likely trajectory and then prepare to retreat. TF-1726 would have his victory, if a few minutes later than he would have liked. The corvette, meanwhile, ended up crashing on Maradon after a close encounter with a star where the Jedi and the clones had an additional series of adventures before they were able to return to the Republic fleet. Skywalker ended up recovering from his wounds and all of the Jedi ended up surviving both Quell and Maradon but ultimately, all of the clones aboard the corvette, except Rex and Bly, died along the way. The evacuation ultimately only rescued two people out of a crew of over 7,000. After the Resolute withdrew, the Sky Battle of Quell ended in a decisive Separatist victory, frustrating another Republic attempt to break Separatist lines around the foundry of the Confederacy. So. That's our look at the Sky Battle of Quell, which you likely remember from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Where does this battle rank for you in terms of Clone Wars space battles? Let us know all that and more in the comments section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.